I kind of just fell into the Ninja Warrior stuff. Since I was a gymnast and a pole vaulter, I felt that, you know, I might have the right skill set for it. Megan Martin, she tends to be a powerful, burly climber. She can get the job done on the steeps. I ended up completing the course and I had no idea that it was kind of making history. Either you go for it all the way or you don't at all. I live in Boulder, Colorado. I've lived here for four years now. I like committed to moving to Boulder because I knew that this was the place I needed to be if I wanted to make myself a better climber. The first time I went climbing was in the end of 2000. Um, I went to a climbing gym at home in Florida and I immediately fell in love with it. You got this. Come on, Megan, stick it. Come on. Did that hurt? Oh, that was actually When I was like 12, I started entering in professional bouldering competitions, and I was doing really well in those, which was kind of funny being so young. Come on. I started getting a little burned out. I decided that I would just kind of take a, a little break from climbing that turned into like a seven year break. My junior year of college that I was like, oh man, I kind of miss climbing. I would like sometimes stop by the gym in the summer or something, but never really make it uh, a routine thing again. It was kind of nerve wracking, I think, trying to figure out if this was something I could do. I gave myself this like limit almost. I was like, okay, so you have three months, get yourself in really good shape. And if you do well in this competition, like you can climb, otherwise, Maybe you should try and get a more normal job. During those three months, I, I trained as much as I could. And somehow when I got to the competition, I was able to stay focused and like do what I needed to do. And there's Megan Mark. What a great show for the crowd there. Excellent route setting. Made finals, got fifth place against like a bunch of like very strong girls in the country. I had to fully commit to it. So we just got to know his house. He has a bunch of obstacles that he's built. I've known Megan Martin since she was a little girl in the PCA, the Professional Climbers Association. We saw Ninja come together and we all teamed up and started training. We decided to turn my house into the wolf den. This is the, uh, the place where we all train and get strong. I was a little hesitant to send in a submission video because I didn't want to like possibly hurt myself and like mess up my climbing career. But then I decided what the heck, like might as well if they don't pick me, they don't pick me. You could do the transfer with that actually, Megan. Oh, I don't know about that. You could totally do the transfer with that. They called me and I showed up for the qualifier in Denver. I ended up completing the course and I had no idea that it was kind of making history. Women tend to be more graceful and more technical. Powerful is kind of just the style that suits me best. This is where I always get my nails done. Um, it's right by my house <laughs> and it's right by work, which is nice too. I think it's good for the sport that people see that you can be feminine and strong. I love to do my nails and whatnot, but I have no problem having like cuts all over me and bruises. I know how to rough it, but then on the flip side, I'm like, yes, I would love to, you know, go to a fancy dinner and get my makeup and hair done and wear dresses all the time. Now I'm noticing that you see it more in climbing, especially with the like younger kids. They're all like super girly and adorable. Some of the kids I coach, so it's really awesome. I got them done today, like literally just right now. I got them done like two days ago. In the U.S., I am definitely on the older side of female competitors. Shocking, I know, at 26, but <laughs> there's a lot more competitors that are actually teenagers. I can tell them the ways in which I deal with things, hopefully make an impact on them and like how they'll handle situations so that they can like succeed. They're the ones that are going to be pushing the limits of climbing soon.
I've always loved competing, but I have done it my whole life. But that's the great thing about climbing is you don't have to compete. Climbing is more than just a sport, it's a lifestyle. You know, you don't ever have to fully let go of climbing because it can be around forever.